फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन और ये क्वेश्चन जो बोल रहा है क्वेश्चन से पी एम क्यू आर टू अपोजिट एंड ऑफ अ स्ट्रेट रनिंग ट्रैक तो यू आई मीन एनी क्वेश्चन एंड एप्टीट्यूड वद यूर सॉल्विंग इन प्रैक्टिस और यूर सॉल्विंग इन साइड द एग्जाम द फोकस शुड बी टू टू एक्चुअली टू एक्चुअली कीप रिएक्टिंग टू वॉट इज रिटर्न तो ये पहला जो लिखा है यहाँ पे तो उससे क्या होता है कि यू 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 एंड अप ओनली टेकिंग सम पार्ट्स ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम फॉर फॉर डिस्कशन सो पी एंड क्यू आर टू ऑपोजिट एंड ऑफ द स्टेट रनिंग ट्रैक सो पी एन पी एंड क्यू आर टू ऑपोजिट ट्रैक्स ऑपोजिट एंड्स ऑफ द स्टेट रनिंग ट्रैक ठीक है ये हो गया रिया एंड टी आर स्टार्ट रनिंग टूवर्ड्स ईच अदर सैमेट्रिसली फ्रॉम पी एन की रिस्पेक्टिवली सो सो सॉर्ट सॉर्ट आउट रिया इज रनिंग and t is running from p and q respectively they start at the same time as soon as one any of them reaches an end she turns back and starts running towards the other end the first meeting happens at a point 210 meters away from p so so what you are what you are told is as soon as somebody reaches an end point whether it's ria or it's uh, tia they 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 start coming back to their original position theek hai So that much is okay, and it says as soon as any of them reaches uh, reaches an end, she turns back and starts running towards the other end. And so that that we have understood. So the next line says the first meeting happens at a point two hundred and ten meter away from P. So when you talk about first meeting, the first meeting is given as two hundred and ten away from P. Now. The immediate thought is that okay, this distance I don't know. That Q is how much distance because if I know the distance uh, from Q, then I'll also be able to transfer this ratio of uh, distances of uh, Ria and Tia. The ratio of distances traveled by Ria and Tia. This I can transfer it into ratio of speeds of Ria and Tia because time is constant. The time for which Ria has traveled this distance and the time for which Tia has traveled this distance, that's constant. So I can I can transfer the ratio of distances. The ratio of speeds. So I don't know that right now. And then they say the second meeting happens at a point 150 meters away from Q. And so the second meeting, which happens, Q is 150 meters away. So if this is P, if this is P and this is Q, if this is P and this is Q, so the second meeting is happening 150 meters away from Q. Right? and then they tell me now now we don't know at this point we don't know whether this is because the second meeting is happening because ria reaches the end point and comes back or tia reaches her end point and comes back we don't know that yet theek hai because we don't know at this till this point we don't know whether ria is strong or faster or tia is strong please remember i am solving solving this during my first reading so i'm not i've not read the end of the problem and then starting to solve i am reacting to what i'm reading here and based based on that <coughs> excuse me based on that i'm solving this question so the speeds in meters per second of ria and tr x and y now this tells me the speeds ria ka speed x hai and tr ka speed y hai respectively such that 2x greater than y greater than x that means first of all when you see 2x greater than y greater than x first of all you have to understand the first of all you have to understand that x is y is greater than x that means tr speed is larger so what you know immediately is that this is more than 210 and because this is more than 210 this second meeting is happening i mean from this point where where this point is let's say ria's first position is this and tia's first position is this ria's second position is this place which is 210 meters from p and tia's second position is this place again which is some distance from 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 q we don't know the distance let's call this the the point m so point m pe kitna distance q se to to m we don't know but what is happening definitely is that amongst these two people it is actually tia who will who will reach the end point and come back here 
TR will reach the endpoint and come come back to this distance uh, this thing. So they have closed the question at this point, and because because TR is faster, so she'll she'll reach the endpoint first first before Ria. It might happen that Ria is only continuing in this point and she gets caught up, right? Or it might happen that Ria has gone all the way and come back. Which one of this is that this tells me? Why why this is this this part is mentioned is that. Ria speed is uh, Tia speed is more than uh, Ria speed, but less than double of Ria speed. Agar Tia ka speed double se jada hota, agar ye y ka value two x se jada hota, if it's possible, tab ye bhi possible hai ki Tia finishes this point and comes back and catches up, and Ria is still still on that point. But agar uh, because because the speed is less than two x, uh, Ria Tia speed is less than double. So because of that, what is what is going to happen is Tia is not going to be able to catch up on Ria before Ria hits the endpoint. So Ria ka bhi ye distance endpoint se uh, uh, endpoint se cover karke ho, right? Because why? I'll just let me just explain this again. Agar agar Tia ka speed two x se jada hai, so what will happen is Tia will finish this distance and this distance twice d before Ria finishes d. That means Ria will get caught caught up before before she reaches uh, uh, Q. But because this is uh, less than two x, that means that uh, Ria can also you can make out that she is traveling this. So the question is asking, what is the distance between P and Q? So first of all, if you look at the options, four twenty can be can be easily eliminated because if you take four four twenty here, this is going to be two hundred and ten, and that's going to be. Uh, Uh, that would that would mean that Ria and Tia ka speed same raiga. So this one I can eliminate. Four eighty at four eighty. This is two seventy, which means that the speed ratio is seven is to nine. Ria ka speed to Tia ka speed is ratio seven is to nine, because when Ria is traveling two hundred and ten, Tia is traveling two two seventy. So if I take four eighty as the whole distance. ये बीच का डिस्टेंस बिकॉज दिस इज 210 एंड दिस इज 150 ये बीच का डिस्टेंस 120 हो जाएगा सो आई जस्ट नीड टू सी दैट रिया टिया गोइंग फ्रॉम टी टू टू टी थ्री फ्रॉम टी टू टी थ्री रिया इज गोइंग टू टेक 210 हंड्रेड एंड मीटर्स हिर एंड अ फर्दर थ्री थर्टी मीटर्स So Ti is traveling 540 meters. Now, now T2 to T3 का जो distance है, वो distance Ti का movement and Ria का movement from R2 to R3 is also in the same time. It's in the same timeline. So that basically means that uh, that that uh, the 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 ratio of speed should be should be the ratio of distance, right? Now we know that. Ratio of speed according to this, if I have taken 480 is 9 is to 7, and Tia ka 4540 should be corresponding to 9, and Ria ka 7 since 9 is corresponding to 540, that means the multiplier is 60. So Ria should travel 420 meters to to reach the the point R3, where she reaches the second second reach, reach, uh, meeting point. And if you look at Ria's movement, it's 270. Plus one fifty, which is indeed four four twenty, and nine is to seven is the ratio. If you try with five forty or five hundred or any other value, uh, you will see that um, the speed ratio will not match at this point, and hence this becomes the answer to this question. Let's look at the second question. The second question is this one. This is the second question. A two-liter water alcohol mixture, M1 contains 40% water, while one-liter water alcohol mixture contains M2 contains 70% water. So the reaction to this question to start with is: I've got a two-liter, a uh, one-liter uh, water alcohol mixture with 40% water, and this is M1, and I've got M2. Which is seventy percent water. Fine. इतना तो बिल्कुल आप लोगों को 
XML is taken out from each of these two mixtures and put in two separate containers. So, this is XML. Nikala. और इसमें से भी XML निकाला The quantity taken out from M1 is mixed into the remaining part of M2 and the quantity taken out from M2 is mixed into the remaining part of M1 so basically what this is not put here actually this is going into that so you are introducing XML into this picture XML of 40% or isme you are introducing xml of 70% so m2 se nikala wo m1 mein dala m1 se jo nikala wo m2 mein dala so m1 mein 70% ka xml aa raha and m2 mein 40% ka xml aa raha and basically uh, the the amount left for uh, in m1 of the 40% is going to be 1000 minus x because you are taking out x and the amount here of the 70% is 1000 minus x. This is the reaction at this point. Now the question says after this, if the two mixtures contain equal quantities of water after the operation, that means you're mixing x of 40% plus 1000 minus x of 70%. If you if you're doing that this you're doing in inside m2 and inside m1 inside m1 you're mixing x of 70 percent and you're mixing thousand minus x of 40 percent this you're doing inside m1 and they're saying that the quantity of water is equal that means basically since you're mixing x plus 1000 minus x you in both m1 and m2 you 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 at the end have 1000 ml each so if the quantity of water is equal the percentage of water is equal so this can only happen if the ratio is 1 is to 1 in both cases i mean if you think about allegation if i've got 40 70 in one ratio and i've got if, if the ratio here r1 to r2 is let's say if this ratio is R1 to R2 and I've got another mixture of 40, 70 and that ratio is R3, R4. If that ratio is R3 to R4 and I, I, I uh, find a percentage for this and I find a percentage for that and I realize that both the percentages are equal. This can only happen when R1 by R2 is equal to R3 by R4 and that can only happen when when x by 1000 minus x is equal to 1000 minus x upon x and so symmetrically you don't need to do all this i'm just explaining this algebraically also to you x upon 1000 minus x and 1000 minus x upon x should be equal and this can only happen at x is equal to 500 the ratio should be equal that's that's the whole logic so c is the answer and you can actually close this uh, logically you can close this much much earlier Okay, let's look at the third question. Arjun and Bhima are standing at point A on a circular track with circumference 300 meters. Okay. So you got a, cir a circular uh, track with circumference 300 meters. And let's say Arjun and Bhima are traveling at point, are, are start standing at point A on the circular track. Of circumference 300 meters. Cherry is standing at point B, which is di di diametrically opposite A on the track. So Cherry is standing on point B. I have I've put the points under circular listing, so I don't get confused between the person AB and the and the and the position AB. All three of them then start running simultaneously on the track. Arjun and Cherry run in clockwise direction at three and four meters per second respectively. So Cherry is running clockwise at 4 meters per second. Arjun is running clockwise at 3 meters per second. While Beam runs in anti-clockwise direction at 5 meters per second. So Beam is running in this direction at 5 meters per second. 
After how much time from the start will Cherry be equidistant from Arjun and Bhim for the first time? So <clears throat> Cherry has to be equidistant from Arjun and Bhim from the first time. So you can actually pick, pick this up from the option straight. You don't need to do much. This could be option says start kar sakto. 25 seconds agar dekho ge, to Cherry is moving 100, sec 100 meters. First option. If you check 25. And Bhim is doing 125. Now please remember. Half the circle is 150. So if, if Beam does 125 and Cherry does 100, so they, they're going to basically cross each other and, and be at a distance of 75 from each other. Because the total uh, approaching distance 150, 150 approach ho jayega, so they are together. And after that, they will start separating. So the remaining 25, uh, 75 distance. So they'll be at a distance of 75 from each other. And Cherry has reached this point, which is 100 from here. Or this point, if Arjun Arjun in, in uh, 25 seconds is going to be 75 from this point. So Arjun is, is going to be 75 from this point. So either say 75. Or Cherry is uh, 50 hai from, from point A. So this is not going to give me an answer because, because uh, uh, Ar Cherry and uh, Bhim ke beech mein the distance is 75, whereas uh, Arjun and Bhim ke, uh, Arjun and Cherry ke beech mein distance is 125. So 25 is not uh, not giving me the answer. So if I uh, try to uh, take uh, let's say uh, 50, 50 dekhte kya hoga? At 50, Cherry will do 200. In four, uh, in uh, fifty seconds, Beam will do two fifty. In fifty seconds, so two hundred uh, Cherry travel agar karega, so Cherry's travel of two hundred is going to take you to this point, fifty 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 from from A, fifty clockwise from A, and Beam's travel of two fifty is going to take him uh, hundred here, one fifty here. Till till uh, till point B, and then another hundred here. And when you when you when beam goes hundred here, so beam is also at this point only, which is going to be uh, that means Arjun and beam uh, Arjun and Cherry are together, and you can easily see that beam is not at the same point, so they are not equidistant at this point. So fifty is not going to be the right right uh, solution here. Then you 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 check maybe thirty. Like 30, 30 man, Cherry is doing 120, Beam is doing 150 and, and this is one of the reasons why I talk about the fact that you need to be very quick with your calculations. Because if your calculations uh, log slow, karo ge, so this, this approach will, will seem very very difficult to you. Right and I, I really don't want to get into the mathematics of this when I'm doing this. I'm, I'm quite sure that if I just uh, calculate all these numbers, I'm, I'm uh, going to get to the answer. And inside any aptitude exam, that, that's a very important uh, uh, this thing. So 150 A travel karega to yahan pe aa jayega. Bheem ko position ye ho jayega. Is case mein. Or Cherry ka position 120 away. So Cherry will be 120 away. So the distance between Bheem and Cherry will be 120. In, uh, we, are, we are testing 30 seconds. So ye distance 30 ho jayega. Right? And uh, uh, at this point, uh, Arjun, who's traveling uh, clockwise in 30 seconds at 3 meters per, th per second, he's going to travel a further 90 seconds, 90 meters. So in this case, you can see that Bheem and Cherry ka second position is 120 meters away. And Cherry is 90 meters, 30 meters from here and further 90 meters away is Arjun. So the distance between Cherry and Arjun is also 120. So all the all the conditions match and hence option B is the right answer.